Good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining us in this very first TechML Technical Forum Asia. Uh, my name is Wei Xiao. I'm from ARM Machine Learning Ecosystem. It's my huge pleasure to be on the Technical uh, Program Committee of TechML Asia. Video poster is from AMSA. Uh, their topic is leveraging optimized CNN on tiny ULP microcontrollers for AI solutions in notebook, automotive, and security. The presenter was Uram um, Zemberberger. AMSA, the I in IoT. The tiny ML community knows how hard it is to run machine language models on microcontrollers. Specifically for vision, the limitation of memory space, single core CPUs at low frequencies, and low resolution monochrome images requires deep knowledge in pruning and quantization techniques. EMSA optimizes algorithms of neural network based apps to require just a few megabytes of memory while enabling image recognition even under low resolution, minimal lighting, and monochrome restrictions. We utilize known neural networks, reduce their size, and embed constrained power and memory to provide a turnkey use case solution. We've developed proprietary accelerators for better real-time distance and low light performance. Here at TinyML, we are showing a few use cases that demonstrate our technology. In the first use case, we demonstrate a tiny 2.2 millimeter AI visual sensor implemented in a notebook behind the screen. It adds features such as wake on approach and auto login through an always on one milliwatt visual motion detector Improved security through lock on leave. 20% longer battery life by dimming the screen when identifying that the user is no longer looking at it. Privacy alert when identifying a second face looking at your screen over your shoulder. Our algorithm also enables quick adaptation capabilities to new circumstances, such as the need to detect faces reliably even when wearing masks. With the performance of low power requirement for human presence detection in the personal compute space, we have developed a special application pipeline. Ultra low power hardware accelerated motion detection is the first stage of human sensing. A highly efficient face detection algorithm enables to detect user presence and user engagement level. Advanced functions are implemented with pruned and quantized neural network models. These functions are face CO angle estimator and facial landmark detection. We developed a reduced complexity facial landmarks algorithm by defining five key facial landmark points. The second use case is from the automotive industry, where EMSA technology was used for hands-free trunk opening using foot detection. EMSA programmed its algorithm to recognize human legs approaching the car. Once they reach a predefined distance, user authentication is applied and the trunk is opened. Due to the strict low power requirements, we couldn't use a full frame detector. So we developed a special legs classifier as a part of gesture recognition flow and then added a background subtraction algorithm. The third use case relates to smart homes and surveillance systems. EMSA applies human detection that is always on and consumes just a few milliwatts of power, enabling more reliable detection compared to PIR systems. Low light. Our algorithm performance is optimized to work with low resolution, low power, and high noise in real life cases with high contrast and low light. EMSA, cutting edge technology, enabling these important advantages. Ultra low power consumption using just a few milliwatts. 
tiny compact footprint of a few millimeters that can fit any device. Cost-effective price performance achieved through a tiny custom ASIC. EMSA. Contact us to discuss your vision requirements and receive an evaluation kit. Yeah, I think Yuram uh, is not able to join us today, but his colleague Brian and Annie are here to answer our questions. So our first question, how popular is your laptop face activation and intruder face detection app? Uh, what's the demand for this? Uh, yes, I think currently uh, most of the branding uh, laptop customer, uh, they are require AI uh, for saving uh, the notebook power and also uh, a privacy uh, consideration. So I think uh, it is a trend, especially in this COVID-19. Uh, so we already uh, implement these uh, Wi-Fi features uh, with uh, many uh, branding laptop customers. Okay. Our next question here, what's the performance and accuracy of Amazon algorithm here uh, compared to other CNN models? What data set did you use for model training and the testing purpose? The current accuracy is uh, uh, we could achieve 95% uh, to detail uh, the face uh, for no, no, notebook because uh, I think uh, this, uh, this distance is uh, uh, not too long. So for the fast detection is uh, uh, very workable on the data. Another question from our audience here, is it safe enough to use foot detection for opening back door of your car automatically? Uh, we got this inquiry uh, from uh, uh, automotive customers because uh, right now, uh, you, right now we are using uh, one deck to kick off the, the trunk trunk back to open the, the uh, trunk. So, so uh, when you're using a single leg uh, stand on the, on the ground, it's uh, not safe. So uh, that's why customer, they ask uh, to uh, use, uh, detect two, two legs uh, for open the trunk. Thank you. We would love to thank uh, our sponsor again to make this event possible and free of charge. So ARM, uh, who provides the software and uh, hardware solutions for tiny amount development, uh, we rolled out M55 and uh, U55 micro NPU early this year. And a couple of weeks ago, we rolled out the second generation of micro NPU U65. So if you want to learn more, you should be able to find the information in our VIP package. Edge Cortex. Uh, Edge Cortex uh, provides dynamic neural accelerator architecture and co-exploration engine that brings cloud level performance to the edge. Synsense builds ultra low power sensing and inference hardware for embedded mobile and edge devices. And thank you, our partner organization, Shan, as our conference partner and our media partners listed on this page. You will find them on our tinyamount.org website. So again, thank you for joining us today. This concludes our last day of Tiny Mount Asia 2020. We hope you learned something new in this week and we hope to see you next year. So please visit tinymail.org for more information. The slide deck and the videos will be posted shortly.